Welcome back. This is the second of the antler record for Span. Of course, 38 inches, as we mentioned last time. Morgan Saxton, McFarlane River, Haas Landsborough River System, 1994, classified as an Otago herd specimen. So this beauty is 7x8. Uh, it's 46 and 45 and 2 eighths long. Uh, spread is wider, so it's 46 and 6 eighths. Losing those 6 eighths. Um, times three of course so to score 44 and 4 eighths that spread of course 38 inches the beams they're 5 and 2 by 5 and 1 the coronets are 9 and 3 by 9 and 4 brow tines uh, this left one is broken what a bugger so uh, measured at 6 and 4 the right hand side is 12 and 2 Ooh, devastating um, then we have the bay tines, 12 and 4 by 11 and 6. The tray tines, 11 and 4 by 10 and 4. Oh man, imagine if I had those uh, 5 or 6 inches from the brow tines. Um, outer royal, 10 by 10 and 2. Inner royal, 9 and 2 by 10. Back tine, 15 and 4 by 16 and 2. The off back tine is 1 and 7 by 1 and 2. Little stubby numbers. And there's a snag off the royal on the right hand side of 1 and 3, of course, not contributing to the score. So again, um, we would have had over 335, but we're 331 and a half. Again, so good. <laughs> it is understood this attractive set of antlers, produced by a stag of the Otago herd, was taken with the aid of a helicopter, a reasonable assumption considering both Saxton and his father were operators in the venison and animals recovery industry. Nevertheless, it is a classic example of Scottish red deer antler configuration and is equal with two other specimens for the widest span ever taken in New Zealand up until the present time. Unfortunately, a few years after it was secured, it was destroyed by a fire in a building on the Saxton property. Plenty of animals lost to fire. It's a real shame. Um, a bit like people's records of their families, and etc. The McFarlane Valley, a major rugged tributary of the mighty Landsborough River, in which the stag was secured, has proven to be one of the greatest producers of top quality antlers since the animals of the expanding Otago herd occupied it about 1920. The magnificent 18 pointer taken by Ian McFarland in 1924, and the five trophies secured by Captain Haggis in 1933, claimed to be finest bag of royals ever secured from the Otago herd, are prime examples. Archie Kiddo and his father each secured a fine trophy in this very valley as well. It is amazing how a valley with such a reputation for inhospitable gosh, that's a mouthful, and rugged terrain has managed to produce some of the finest trophies ever secured in New Zealand. Unfortunately, Morgan Saxton lost his life in a helicopter accident on Lake Wanaka. Yes, rest in peace there. That's not an uncommon story, unfortunately. Next up we have Thomas Harris, um, the third of the New Zealand record deer antlers for span, that magical 38 inches. Make sure you're subscribed. If you haven't, slap that uh, five star rating. That'll help more people hear this and share it around on your socials. Make sure your mates have uh, heard of the Stag Rule podcast, in particular the Big Game Records, and they might enjoy a few of the longer form podcasts as well. Catch you next time on the New Zealand Records for Red Deer. This is New Zealand Big Game Records Volume 6, The Red Deer Part 2, written and compiled for the New Zealand Deer Stalkers Association, incorporated by D. Bruce Banwell. Published by the Halcyon Press, a division of Halcyon Publishing Limited, PO Box 360, Auckland, 1140, New Zealand. Printed by Prolong Press, Limited, China. Um, copyright. 2011, D. Bruce Benwell, first published 2011, all rights reserved.